Module 2 is all about proving inequalities in triangle. Let us start with inequalities in one triangle. We have the side angle inequality theorem which states that if one side of a triangle is longer than a second side, then the angle opposite the first is larger than the angle opposite of the second side. In this figure, the measurement of IN is 10, and the measurement of Fi is 9. It means In is greater than Fi. What is the opposite angle of side In? The opposite angle of side In is angle F. And what is the opposite angle of side Fi? It is angle N. If In is greater than Fi, meaning angle F is also greater than angle N. Let us now have proof 1. Given, triangle SET is an isosceles, ST is equals to 15, SE is equals to 11, and ST is greater than SE. Using this figure, we will prove that the measurement of angle SET is greater than the measurement of angle STE. Using this two-column proof, we will provide the missing information needed. For the first statement, we have ST is 15 and SE is 11. So the reason here is given because you can locate this one in given part. The second reason states that definition of isosceles triangle. What do we mean by isosceles triangle? Isosceles triangle has two congruent legs. Looking at the figure, looking at the figure, you can observe that SE and TE have the same marking, meaning SE is equals to TE. And then for the third reason we have given, and the last given that we have here is ST is greater than SE. And now we will find out what is the opposite angle of ST. The opposite angle of ST is angle SET, which is greater than the opposite angle of SE, which is STE. And for the reason, we have side angle inequality theorem. Let's have the second one, angle side inequality theorem. In here, if one angle of a triangle is larger than a second angle, then the side opposite the first is longer than the side opposite of the second angle. Using this figure, we can see that angle A is greater than angle B. We will find out what is the opposite side of angle A. The opposite side of angle A is side BC. And the opposite side of angle B is side AC. If angle A is greater than angle B, we can also say that BC is greater than AC. Let's have the third one. We have the side 1 plus side 2 greater than side 3. In here, the sum of the lengths of two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. In triangle TAG, TA is 12. AG is 15 and TG is 26. If we add TA and AG, their sum is 27. If we add TA and TG, their sum is 38. And if we add TG and AG, their sum is 41. Then we can conclude that the sum of TA plus AG is greater than TG, which is the third side. And then the sum of TA and TG is greater than AG. Also, TG plus AG is greater than TA. Meaning, if we add the two sides, they are greater than the third side. Using this figure, 
Can 6, 14, and 4 be sides of a triangle? So we will check if these three lengths are sides of a triangle. So first we will add 4 plus 14 that is greater than 6. It is correct. And then we have 6 plus 14 greater than 4. It is also correct. And then the last one we have 6 plus 4 greater than 14. This one is incorrect. Meaning, these three sides cannot be the lengths of the side of a triangle. Let's have the exterior angle inequality theorem. In here, the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either remote inferior angles. So using this figure, let us find out what are the angles less than the measurement of angle DAP, which is the exterior angle. We can say that the measure of angle DAP is greater than the measure of angle DMA because angle DMA is only 50 degrees. Also, the measurement of angle DAP is greater than the measurement of angle MDA. We will have the proof too. Given the figure, we need to prove that the measurement of BCE is greater than the measurement of DBA. Using this two-column proof, we will have the first statement, the measure of angle BCE is greater than the measure of angle CDA. So the first angle is BCE, this one, is greater than is greater than the measurement of angle CDP, this angle, because of the definition of exterior angle inequality theorem. Because angle BCE is the exterior angle and angle CDB is a remote interior. Next, using the same angle, the measurement of this one, the measurement of angle CDB is greater than its remote interior angle, which is this angle. We have the measurement of angle DBA. So we apply there also the definition of exterior angle theorem. And then for the third reason, we have the transitive property. Transitive property means if A is equals to B and B is equals to C, then A is equals to C. Meaning we will disregard the repeated term here. So we will have the measurement of angle BCE greater than the measurement of angle DBA. Let's have the inequalities into triangle. Let's start with the hinge theorem. If two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another, but the included angle of the first is larger than included angle of the second, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. This is the SAS inequality theorem. So using this figure, we will have angle O, 49 degrees, and angle I, 40 degrees. So we can say that angle O is greater than angle I. And then we will compare their opposite sides. For angle O, the opposite side of it is side BD. For angle I, the opposite side is side TP. So if angle O is greater than angle I, meaning BD is also greater than TP. Let's have another example. So here, it is given that angle C is less than angle J. So we will find out what is the opposite side of angle C. The opposite side of angle C is BS and the opposite side of angle J is AF. If angle C is less than angle F, how can we compare the measurement of BS to AF? BS is also less than AF. Let's have the converse of hinge theorem. If two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another, but the third side of the first is longer than the third side of the second, then the included angle in the first triangle is greater than the included angle in the second triangle. This is also the SSS inequality theorem. Using this figure, we have two congruent sides and 
the third side have different measurements. We can say that Fn is less than Lp because Fn is 9, Lp is 11. The opposite angle of Fn is angle O, while the opposite angle of Lp is angle A. If Fn is less than Lp, we can also say that angle O is less than angle A. Let's have this two pairs of triangles. As we can observe, the different lengths are SB, which is greater than FA because SB is 24, FA is 18. The opposite side, the opposite angle of SB is angle C, while the opposite angle of FA is angle J. How can we describe or how can we compare these two angles? Angle C is greater than angle J since SB is greater than FA. Let us have proof number 3. Given AC is congruent to BC, AR is less than BR, and using this figure, we need to prove that the measurement of angle ACR is less than the measurement of angle BCR. Using this two-column proof, we will provide the missing information. For the first statement, we have AC is congruent to BC, and that is from the given. Next, we have the second reason, which is the reflexive property. Which side is being shared by both triangles? We have CR is congruent to CR. Next, we have the third reason which is also given. What will be the third statement? The third statement is AR is less than BR. Using the fourth reason, we have definition of included angle. So we need to find what are the two included angles here. For side AC and CR, the included angle is angle ACR. And what is the included angle of side CR and BC. Their included angle is angle BCR. So meaning angle ACR and angle BCR are included angles. For the fifth statement, we have the measurement of angle ACR is less than the measurement of angle BCR because angle ACR is opposite of AR which is less than the opposite of BR, which is the measurement of BCR. So the reason will be definition of converse of hinge theorem. So you remember if, if your final answer are angles, it is the converse of hinge theorem. If the final answer are sides, that is the hinge theorem. That's how we can prove the inequalities in one and two triangles.